okay, one of those days. <laughs> yes, one of those days where I thought I had enough ingredients to make a particular dish, but it turns out I don't. So I gotta shift gears, make something else. It's already quarter to four or whatever. Just got home. So I saw something similar, and it's probably not the exact, but that's what I had. By the way, I was gonna make that Mississippi pot roast. Um, it has the pepperoncini and butter and some sort of beef au jus, um, and you just put it in ranch. That's right, ranch dressing packets. And you put it in your crock pot and cook it for eight hours. Well, I ain't got eight hours. And even if I put it on high, I ain't got that long. So, because it was a pretty big chuck roast. So I got some chicken and I thawed it like on hyper speed. It's still frozen, but I'm gonna make um, this one little thing. It's gonna be, it's good. I ad lib, you gotta ad lib, right? So let's ad lib. I don't even know what to call this. But what I did was I have cornstarch. You can use regular flour. Cornstarch makes things really crispy. Panko breadcrumbs. And you saw the egg wash, right? So I'll do cornstarch, egg wash, and then panko. And I'm gonna do that to chicken. But where do you see what I do with the chicken? Now this is probably still frozen. I was cutting, ooh, separate cutting board for chicken, right? This is a little guy. I was cutting off the like not so pleasant pieces here. <laughs> this really is still frozen. Okay, yeah, I cut that little guy off and that little guy off and like the end. Let me throw that away. There you go. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bread it like this, the whole piece. I'm not gonna slice it down and make it thin because we're gonna make it that hassle back, you know how you do that with potatoes. So I don't know if you can see this, let's see, like that. I literally am going to, this isn't gonna be perfect, trust me. So I'm gonna do like this with the flour or with the cornstarch, see? Then I'm gonna dump it in, dunk it in here. This is gonna be messy. Maybe I'll do all three of these so that I don't mix up the cornstarch too much with the panko. Okay. And then this one's frozen too. Oh well. I'm gonna cook them in a iron skillet, cast iron skillet. I noticed you can see it over there. Okay, just get a little bit. It doesn't this does not have to be perfect, okay? And then into the egg wash. Remove these guys. Traja. Okay. Like that. Some of it will come off and that's okay. Okay. Just roll it up. I'm gonna have to wash my hands. You're supposed to just use one hand for one the wet and one hand for the dry. But I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna set these on a dish. Over there. Here's the second little guy. I didn't put milk in the egg wash this time. That's just two eggs, okay? Put in there. Now, I probably put too many panko breadcrumbs in this pie plate. I have to throw it out unless I'm gonna use it today for something else and cook, you know, in it because you can't save it. Rats. I don't like wasting. Okay, this one goes on the dish. One last one here. This is the big boy. Look how thick he is. Again, it's not on all of it. But that's all right. Okay, come on in. Okay, just these three big pieces will be plenty. We like having leftovers. You know, on Thursday we clean out the fridge for a rubbish night, for garbage night, and you know any little thing that doesn't look so great or whatever we we um they loves to have leftovers. A little bit of this and that is kind of like a little buffet. I know people who won't eat leftovers, but you're missing that. Okay, this one took a little bit more. Oh, look at that big boy, huh? Okay, you on the dish. Let me rinse my hands while I'm here. Yike. Sometimes I keep a little sink full of sudsy water if I know I'm going to have uh, yucky chicken and stuff on my hands and I just 
scooch them around. I really should have done that, but uh, I gotta get going here. So let me tidy this up, get it out of the road, okay? Like I said, can't use that. Can't use this cutting board anymore, and we'll get rid of this. Hold on to your eggs, silly. There we go. Alrighty, so this is what's next. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this ladder and I'm gonna heat this while I'm here. This is a nice cast iron skillet. I'm just gonna put it a little bit on low, but I have my oven on about 375 right now. And this is what we're gonna do. This is crazy. I just met you. This is crazy. And here's my chicken. <laughs> Never mind. If you don't know the song, it's not funny. It's probably not funny anyway. So <laughs> I'm making a mixture in here. What we're going to do is take this chicken and slice it, not all the way through, just slice, slice, slice down. And then we're going to stuff it with our mixture, put it in the cast iron, just sear the bottom and bake it in the oven. So I'll let you know the mixture in one minute. But let's see if I can do this right on this plate. So some or some of uh, the places, the chicken rather, is a little bit thinner on the sides there. So I can't do it. And <laughs> some of it's frozen, like I said. But you know what? When there's a will, there's a way. You can't believe how often I say that. Oops, I hit the bottom on that. That wasn't my goal. Okay. And then this, this little guy too. Come on, I'm hitting the plate is what I'm hitting. Okay, so let's look at this. Oops. Yuck, 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 yuck. Take a close up look. Can you see what I did there? I cut into it. Now I made little pockets. So what we'll do is we'll I'll stop the camera here. I'm gonna get my stuff to mix and we're gonna mix it up. I have my hand blender on standby over there just in case I need it. Okay, be right back. So, this is the mixture, ready? I put in cream cheese. I put in a little bit of this garlic because I like the little bit of oil in there too. Then, just a little handful of both of these cheeses. And the secret ingredient, are you ready? Jalapenos, jalapeno slices. So, here's what it looks like so far. See, just a little handful of each one, right? Let me kind of pre-mix this up before I put the jalapenos in. And of course, this isn't all the way thawed either. Oh, I thawed, I thawed it, but I didn't. I thought I had it at room temperature. Making puns here in the kitchen. Oh well, some of you think, uh, message me anyway. <laughs> Let me know you appreciate my stupid sense of humor. Okay, I might have to use the stick blender on this, but if I get some jalapeno juice in there, maybe I won't. Oh, I already used that. I'm gonna have to open up the new jar. So this is gonna be a spicy. The cream cheese will soften it out though. I'm gonna open this new jar. There we go. I'm just gonna do this. How many? I don't know. The juice. There we go. Could I um, have chopped them? Of course. And this will make like a little sauce. Okay, and I did the breadcrumbs though. You could do it without uh, the breadcrumbs, but I wanted to give it a little off, you know. Okay, it's going, it's going. That little bit of juice that I put in there, that's making it a little easier. You know what, I need some more cheddar. Another little handful. There we go. Okay, almost, almost. And then we'll get this in between those things of chicken. 
how, I don't know, but I'm gonna do it. And then I'll put it in the skillet, kind of sear the first side, get it in the oven. I think I'll cover it too, okay? Oh, that looks good, look. See, all mixed up. Just like me some days, all mixed up. Okay, here we go. Yeah, people do this with the potatoes. Now I gotta use my hands because that's the best tools in the kitchen, right? I'm gonna make sure I have at least a jalapeno in each one of these. So I'll even shape it a little bit and stick it down in there. Ooh, baby, that's probably too much. Okay, I'll just do the first one. So the video isn't too long. You know, I actually looked up because I thought I saw this particular kind of rest. Whoops. Oh, darn it. This recipe. Um, I don't know where, but it came to me because I had to, you know, switch gears because I couldn't make the um, Mississippi pot roast. So I wanted to make something else and I had the cream cheese out and I don't know. So, oh, this is looking okay. And anyway, I tried to look it up, in fact, just now, to see if I was like gonna miss something really important. There are so many ads in those kinds of videos. And I know these can be like 15, 20 minutes, whatever, long, but to make a dinner isn't long for 15, 20 minutes, right? And if you don't have time now, you can do it later. I made way too much of this. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yuck. I'm gonna make another slice in each one of these down below so I can fill it a little bit more. Tuck in there. Give me a jalapeno. But anyway, there were so many pop up ads. When I was, all I wanted to do was jump to the recipe. You know how they say, jump to the recipe. Well, I jumped, but it was ridiculous. It really was ridiculous. I gotta do this real quick. Sorry, because I want to show you this up a little closer, okay? Then we're gonna go over to my stove and get them in. Look at that. Look at that, this thing would say. He always says stuff like that. Can you see? In each little pocket, I put a blob of it. It'll all melt into that deliciousness, into that goodness. Okay, I'm gonna stop the camera. And we'll go over to my stove. Let's go. Okay, we're at the stove. This is heating up nicely. I'm gonna turn it up now that I'm over here. Let me adjust a teeny bit like that. And I'm going to use, since it's kind of a spicy dish, you know how I infuse my different oils. This one just has red peppers in it. So <clears throat> the flavor goes into the oil itself. And I don't mind if a few peppers go in there too. Let's invert it. Okay, and hot pan, then get the oil hot. Okay. Um, after this cooks, just at least on the bottom, what I'm gonna do is I will use a heat resistant lid that I have or heavy duty aluminum foil. Okay. Like I said, this isn't, you know, a tried and true recipe that, you know, Betty Crocker's making. It's just like, let's add lib, and then you make it your own. Maybe you won't use that kind of cheese. Maybe you use Swiss cheese, I don't know, some kind of cheese. I think it's hot enough. I should do the water test, but I'll just do, I can hear it. So that's good enough for me. Okay, I'm gonna turn it up a tiny bit more. These chicken breasts now look ginormous. There we go. And because it'll be covered, then this will make a bit of a, you know, it'll all melt down, but not before it melts in the chicken itself. Okay. Now I don't want to move it around too much yet. I want that to get crunchy. Okay. So there's that. I'll watch it. I'm going to put just about a quarter inch after this gets crunchy, a quarter inch of uh, water or chicken broth on the bottom before I cover it and put it in the oven 
and then we'll bring it out and see how it looks, okay? Say goodbye. <laughs> so they're cooking away, but here's two quick things. See my dip back there? I call it dip that I put the cream cheese mixture. I'm gonna turn it into some sort of dip. Don't think I'm gonna waste it, okay? I'll figure it out. I might um, use it for one of those, like you put the cream cheese and then a can of chili or your homemade chili and then another thing of um, cheddar cheese and you use it for dipping uh, the tortilla chips. So we could do that because it just has jalapeno and some, some cheese in it. But this is what I did. Instead of using the chicken broth on the bottom, I think because I made a mistake the other day. I grabbed a Campbell's can thinking it was tomato soup and here it was the extra cream of chicken soup, which I don't generally love, by the way, but I used it in those um, potatoes, you know, those funeral potatoes that we made with the hash browns. So I accidentally opened it. And so here's the can. I'm gonna use about half of this with water, not milk because it's gonna still cook in the oven like that. But um, these are getting crispy and they're smelling really good. So look at down like there. And we'll put that in the bottom just to make it a little shallow, give it some moisture to cook all the way through. There you go. All righty, I pulled this out of the oven. It looks really good. It smells really good too. I was surprised the cream cheese kind of stayed in there as much as it did. But you know, to make sure your chicken's cooked uh, thoroughly, I used my little thermometer. I put it in the, um, the thickest part of the thickest piece breast of chicken without hitting the sides. And it came out like oh, about 170 actually. Uh, we're gonna have a little side of the inexpensive, I think these are like a little over a dollar, these little egg noodles. Takes us three times to use a bag. That's always a good one. If you have a lot of kids for filler, you could do lots of things with that. But I was also making a little bit of chicken breast, just cooking them off in water. And of course they yield a little bit of their own broth. So I took the, a little bit of broth, a little bit of that leftover can of cream of chicken, threw some more jalapenos in there, and some milk. I'm gonna remove the chicken and then add in carrots and a little bit more broth, cook that down so we can have a sauce to go over our noodles. How's that sound? They look pretty good though, right? Here, here we go. I took them out and they're resting, but they're gonna go right back into this. Ta-da. I added that little bit of cream of chicken soup. I did use a little bit of milk. I put more jalapenos in so every bite could have one through the noodle sauce, you know. And it, I cooked it in this skillet on top of the stove now and it got nice and thick. So I'm going to turn this down or off, put these back in, and then keep it on low in the oven. The carrots are finished. I'll throw those back in and we'll have noodles and this luscious sauce.